deep in the shadows of the Cretaceous forest, a creature lurks, its sharp claws ready to strike. This remarkable creature, pronounced Deinonychus, is known for its unique features, hunting prowess, and ecological significance during the middle to late Cretaceous period in North America. But there's more to Deinonychus than meets the eye. Deinonychus were believed to have roamed the lush floodplains and dense forest of what is now known as North America during the early Cretaceous period, approximately 115 to 108 million years ago. This was a time when dinosaurs ruled the land, and the landscape was vastly different from what we see today. Towering coniferous trees reaching for the sky, forming a dense canopy that provided ample cover for Deinonychus to stalk its prey. The forest floor was carpeted with ferns, cycads, and other prehistoric vegetation, creating an ideal hunting ground for this cunning predator. One of the most distinctive features of Deinonychus is its large, curving claws on its hind feet, which gave it its name. The Greek root dieno, meaning terrible, and onychus, meaning claw, perfectly describe these lethal weapons. The sharp claws were used by Deinonychus to grab and hold onto its prey, making it a formidable hunter. In fact, Deinonychus is considered one of the largest members of the Dromaeosaur family, which also include the smaller Velociraptor. However, contrary to popular belief, the name raptor is more accurately applied to birds of prey such as hawks and eagles, which seize and grab their prey with their talons rather than to Deinonychus. Let's start with the numbers, shall we? Based on the few fully mature specimens discovered, Paul estimated that it could reach a whopping 3.3 to 3.4 meters in length. Now that's a dinosaur you wouldn't want to encounter in a dark alley. With a skull length of 410 millimeters and a hip height of 0.87 meters, it was a formidable creature indeed. But what about its weight, you ask? Well, Campione and his colleagues proposed a hefty mass estimate of 100 kilograms based on femur and humerus circumference. Speaking of the skull, let me tell you, it's a real marvel of nature. Equipped with powerful jaws lined with around 70 curved, blade-like teeth, Deinonychus meant business when it came to hunting. Over the years, studies of the skull have revealed some of the jaw-dropping details. Ostrom, the renowned paleontologist, reconstructed the partial, imperfectly preserved skulls he had as triangular, broad, and fairly similar to Allosaurus. Turns out, the palate was more vaulted than Ostrom initially thought making the snout narrower while the juggles flared out broadly, giving it high stereoscopic vision. And here's a fascinating tidbit. Unlike its cousin Velociraptor, it had a more robust skull roof, resembling that of Dromaeosaurus. Talk about an intriguing look. Talking about hands, or manus of Deinonychus, with three claws on each finger, these were no ordinary hands. The first digit was the shortest, while the second was the longest, ending in a sickle-shaped claw. And boy, was it a lethal weapon for predation. In fact, the holotype, YPM 5205, preserves a large, strongly curved ungual, which in life would have been covered with a keratinous sheath, extending its length to over 120 millimeters. Now that's what I call a killer claw. Let's move on to a topic that's sure to ruffle some feathers, literally. Although no skin impressions have been found in association with their fossils, Microraptor, an older and more primitive relative of it, has been found with veined feathers, similar to those of modern birds on its arms, legs, and tail, along with covert and contour feathers. And even the younger and closely related Velociraptor has been found with quill knobs on its ulna which are a direct indicator of modern feathers. So it's safe to say that Deinonychus was a feathery fiend. According to the study, Deinonychus likely had a bite force that was only 15% of that of the modern American alligator. Now, that may not sound like much compared to the monstrous jaws of the alligator, but wait, there's more. In 2010, a groundbreaking study by Paul Gignac and his team took a closer look at Deinonychus tooth puncture marks in the bones of a Tenontosaurus, and they did uncover some jaw-dropping revelations. 
these tooth puncture marks provided the first evidence that it could bite through bone, and Gignac's team estimated the bite force of Deinonychus to be between 4,100 to 8,200 newtons. To put that into perspective, that's greater than some living carnivorous mammals like the hyena, and equivalent to a similarly sized alligator. Gignac and his team also noted that while Deinonychus could deliver a bone-crushing bite, puncture marks on the bones were relatively rare. In fact, it probably didn't munch on bones like a hungry T-Rex at a buffet. Instead, it likely used its powerful bite force for defense and capturing prey, rather than for feeding. Now, when it comes to its speed on the ground, things get even more intriguing. Dr. John Ostrom initially thought that it was a real speed demon, based on the length of its leg bones, but later he realized that the ratio of its foot to lower leg length was quite different from modern fast-running birds like ostriches. In fact, they had a lower foot to lower leg ratio, with shorter upper foot bones, which actually increased as the dinosaur grew. It was found that they would not have been as fast as we thought, compared to other dinosaurs or modern flightless birds. In fact, a study of dinosaurs' footprints by Richard Kuhl estimated that it may have had a walking speed of around 10.1 kilometers per hour, which is still pretty impressive for a dinosaur of its size. November 2018 by Norell Yang Wiseman and their team revealed that Deinonychus laid blue eggs, potentially using camouflage as a strategy for recognition and protection against predators, dismissing the idea that the egg was a meal for the theropod. The fragments were found sandwiched between the belly ribs and forelimb bones, making it impossible for them to represent contents for the animal's stomach. Moreover, the crushed and fragmented condition of the egg indicated that it was intact at the time of burial and broken during the fossilization process. The estimated size of the egg, based on the width of the pelvic canal it had to pass through, was about 7 centimeters in diameter. According to studies, they would have shared its habitat with a diverse range of dinosaurs, including other theropods like Allosaurus and Acrocanthosaurus, as well as various types of herbivorous dinosaurs such as sauropods and ornithopods. As a skilled and agile hunter, it likely used its sharp teeth senses and sharp claws to ambush its prey from the cover of the dense vegetation. Its speed and agility, combined with its keen eyesight and accurate hearing, would have given it the advantage it needed to catch the next meal. But it wasn't just about the hunt for them. Like many other dinosaurs, it also had to deal with environmental challenges, such as changing weather patterns, availability of food and water, and interactions with other dinosaurs. Studying the habitat of them provides us with valuable insights into the ancient world, and how these creatures adapted to their surroundings. One theory suggests that changes in the climate during the late Cretaceous period may have played a role in the decline of Deinonychus. As the Earth's climate shifted, habitats and food sources could have been altered, leading to a decline in suitable hunting grounds for Deinonychus. It's like a prehistoric survival game, with Deinonychus fighting to stay at the top of the food chain. Another controversial theory proposes that competition with other predators may have contributed to Deinonychus's downfall. Fossil evidence suggests that other large theropod dinosaurs, such as Tyrannosaurus rex, may have coexisted with Deinonychus in the same ecosystems. And let's not forget about the asteroid impact theory. Some believe that the asteroid impact caused widespread devastation, leading to changes in the climate, loss of vegetation, and disruption of food chains ultimately resulting in the extinction of Deinonychus and many other species. It's like a cataclysmic event that changed the course of history for these magnificent creatures. It has also left its mark in popular culture, especially through the movie Jurassic Park. It served as the model for the raptor dinosaurs portrayed in the film, although the portrayal took some creative liberties. One such misconception is the depiction of Deinonychus as the incredibly agile and fast runner capable of chasing down prey with lightning speed. And if you're into cool stuff like this, make sure to click on the like and subscribe buttons below. By learning about Deinonychus and other prehistoric animals, we get a better idea of just how diverse and complicated life on Earth really is. And if you're curious about other prehistoric animals and want to know more about them, then you should definitely click on the video on your screen right now. We'll tell you everything you need to know about this fascinating topic and help you deepen your understanding of these incredible creatures.